Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a brand new style by Raquel Welch. This is Flying Solo, and the color on this one is Shaded Wheat 1422SS. More on her in just a minute. let's start taking a look at flying solo so i have so been looking forward to showing you all these styles i'm so excited to finally be able to post these reviews uh so flying solo is just a really really pretty bob you know classic bob style these look great on so many different face shapes and um, they're definitely a favorite for me. She does have um, a little layering here at the front. So there is a long bang layer. I think if you wanted to, you could cut in a, um, you know, a full bang if that's your thing. Of course, these are the true to life heat friendly fibers. So, you know, you can add curl, you can do all those sorts of things. And with a straight wig like this, um, maintenance is much easier. You can just use your flat iron about 300 degrees, go over your ends, you know, to maintain your heat friendly fibers. So I will do a turn so you can see you're all the way around and then we'll start talking about this new cap design which is their luxe light cap so here we are from the front here's my left the back my right and back to the front okay so this particular cap is an extended lace front with a left mono part and then the rest of the cap is hand tied. There is some clothes wefting at the back. There's silicone at the ear tabs. And on this one, there's silicone at the nape. If it has an extended nape like this one does, there's silicone at the nape. So I'll show you all that in the cap, you know, when I show you the cap construction. But I do want to talk a little bit about the top too while we're looking at the part. So this is the monofilament left part. So same type cap construction, you know, if you had an open wefted cap, left part, you know, extended lace front. So there's your part. The top up here then is that um, cluster knotted hand tied um, look that they use on a lot of their Gabor caps. So as far as changing the part, I'm, I have mixed emotions about it. It looks really good here because this is on your lace front, right? But then when you get back here, you're going to have heavier knotting. I personally would not change the part. I if I have the option of monofilament here, hand tied here, I would just use my monofilament part. But I did wanna mention that because I feel like I might get questions about that. So um, looking at her lace front, she does have an extended lace front, like I said, true temple to temple. Um, one thing I am noticing is there's a little bit of buckling of the lace and that is coming from these silicone ear tabs. I have to have them right in the right place and make sure they're pulled down and make sure they're sticking to my head. Now my concerns about that for those of you that have hair right here is that silicone is just going to be sitting on your hair. So uh, what I would do to rectify that, I would just always tape down my lace front or use your got to be glued hairspray and glue your lace front down. Okay. Otherwise lace front looks great. I'm very pleased that there's a little bit of extra lace. You could even trim that back a little bit if you wanted to. Then I'll show you these ear tabs. Great coverage, great amount of hair on the ear tabs. Looks really, really good. And here's that silicone. I'll show you that more, of course, you know, when I uh, take it off, but, um, but really nice. And then anywhere you separate the hair, it's hand tied. So when you're styling, you know, you're gonna have more of an appearance of scalp. These are also considered to be petite average and lower density. So, um, you know, that's also a really, really nice feature. Okay, so let's look at measurements for flying solo. So here in the front, we have a six and a half inch layer. We have 11 and a half inches here from the crown, eight inch sides, a 10 inch layer here in the back. And then her nape is five inches. Weight wise, she is three and a half ounces. So I will pop her off and we can look more at more detail at this uh, interior cap construction. Before I pop her off, I wanna talk about the fit. So ear to ear, she's fitting me fine. Remember, these are considered petite average. Forehead to nape, she's fitting me great. I mean, she's fitting my head great. She feels like she's molded to my head. But in these stretchy parts on the cap that I'll show you when I have it off my head in a minute, there is some extra room for some stretch. And there is some stretch. This is always so hard to show, but in the circumference, there's some stretch too. So I think my petite headed friends can wear this, um, but average and just above average should be able to wear it as well. Okay, so now let's look at it, take a look at the cap. So this cap has a has monofilament in this part area here. So a left mono part, extended lace front. This whole area is monofilament lace. 
And then you have a hand tied portion up here on the top. So this is where I'm saying the knotting is a little heavier here. And I just don't know that it's going to look right if you try to change the part. I personally would take advantage of my monofilament before I would try to part in that area. But just in case I get asked, I just wanted to, you know, clarify that because it it's a different looking cap. This does have that tool material like we sometimes see in their Gabor caps, but the knotting looks um, smaller to me. So it's just a hand tied section. So, but this is your only monofilament left part extended lace front is where you have your actual lace. So here we have the uh, silicone ear tabs that have a nice piece of metal. We have hand tied areas all through the back of this cap. And then we go into some closed wefting. This is very common in these hand tied caps. This closed wefting area to me, um, it's just strengthens the cap a little bit. It helps the hair to lay right from what I have heard um, their reps say. And, um, you know, it still gives you the appearance of being a hand tied cap. So I like the way I like the way these caps are made. So she's got Velcro adjusters and she has an extended silicone nape. Again, that nape is going to give you grip back there. And if you're like me and you have no hair back there, that's a real advantage. So, OK, let's take a look at this beautiful color. So this is the shaded wheat. This is 14. Yeah, 1422 SS. I never want to misspeak in my video. So sometimes I got to check my notes. So uh, shaded wheat is one of my favorite colors. It's just a beautiful blonde that does have a uh, brunette rooting on it. And um, so it works with my eyebrows. I feel like the warm tones work with my skin tone. So this is a nice color if you wanna start trying blondes and you're a brunette and you don't wanna go too light, too platinum, whatever. You know, this is just a nice little upgrade into the blondes without it being super, super light and bright, you know. So uh, description for shaded wheat is dark honey blonde blended with pale cool blonde with medium brown roots. So with that rooting, anywhere you separate the hair, you're gonna see the rooting. So that's why I'm saying if you have brunette hair, it literally looks like highlighted, you know, heavily highlighted brunette hair, which I really like. So, so here's your rooting color. They do place those lighter colors, of course, at the lace front. And then as you go down, you see a little bit of the rooting, but they kept those lighter colors pretty much all around the face. So looks nice. Lots of dimension. I just find it to be a very, very pretty, definitely a warm color. Okay, let's go check it out outside. This is shaded wheat under my patio cover. You can see that rooting. You'll see it's not too dark. There's your lace front. So here we are in shaded light, and I'll step into the sun. It's uh, partly cloudy, so it's not super sunny today. Okay, really quickly, we can look at glasses and styling and all that kind of stuff. So with these um, thin ear tabs, the glasses should be, you know, no problem. I like to just tuck the hair and you can tuck the hair behind the ear. Like I said, <clears throat> these are low density, no permatease, you know. So I just like to tuck it so you can see where the glasses are lying. But, um, you know, it's not gonna be any kind of problem with these ear tabs with the glasses. So, and you can put the glasses up on your head. There's no permatease that's gonna push those glasses out or make it feel like, you know, that doesn't feel natural. I always tuck the hair behind my ears before I put the glasses up. Okay, so we have her tucked. She looks really cute with a headband and you can pull that bang layer back with that headband, which is nice because this is, you know, these bob cuts do tend to flop in the face a little bit. It's not real bad, you know, just standing up, but if you're gonna be looking down, you know, at your computer or whatever, it might flop just a little bit. So you can keep the bang back and that's, the head, headbands are just such an easy thing to use to pull a wig back without putting a lot of tension on your fibers. You know, these are just little cheap um, satiny ones from Amazon. You can buy a pack with a bunch of colors. That's what I did, you know, and uh, they're just really, really easy to use with your wigs. Now, if you want to, you can pull this bang layer out too. So you have that option. 
and let's see. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of face flop. You see what I mean? Just a little bit. So that's why if I was going to be wearing this to work or something, I would probably pull, you know, pull it back with a headband. So, okay. So she does have the length on the sides to do half up, half down and to clip her back back here. But again, these, the six and a half inch layer in the front is going to want to come down. Uh, ponytail wise, how long was our nape? Five inch. You could get a little pony back there if you just wanted to get her, you know, off of your neck or whatever. Or maybe you might want to do a little twist and put a clip. Where's my flat clip? Put in a flat. I love this clip. And I've told you guys before, this is a goodie clip from Amazon. So, but this works great for these wigs that don't have a ton of length, but you do want to wear it up. So it'll hold it pretty nicely. So lots of little things. And of course, with this lace front, you know, you can just pull those fibers off the face if you want to. So I love this one. I think this is really a pretty new style and I hope that she's gonna be really, really popular. So so thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank Pinky Promise for setting this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information in the drop down box down below this video. Take care of yourselves and don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.